going into their territory. Would you be willing to fight Anthony Joshua of in the box? Francis Ngannou uh, shook up the world against Tyson Fury. So the question for the table is, where does he really fit into the heavyweight landscape now? And what other top fighters do we think he could actually match up well with? That was the sharpest I've seen Anthony Joshua in a long time. After watching The Day of Reckoning, we understood one thing clearly. Wilder versus Francis is never going to happen anytime soon. Then, Eddie Hearn, who is the promoter of Anthony Joshua, he has come out and he's thrown Anthony Joshua's name into the mix. Instead, we have a super blockbuster fight that can solidify one's legacy and completely destroy the other's boxing reputation. Just broke the news moments ago. It is a done deal. It's Francis Ngannou against... Anthony Joshua, AJ. Some big boxing news. Nancy Joshua will face former UFC champion Francis Ngannou in Saudi Arabia. I like this. Ngannou put fury on his backside, didn't he, when they boxed last year? What about Anthony Joshua? I'm willing to fight. He said he'd knock you out. He, 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 he said he'd knock you out. I see people thinking Ngannou will beat Anthony Joshua. Just what? Three rounds is all we need there. Well, but, but even Tyson Fury said the same thing, and Tyson Fury is better than Anthony Joshua. You heard what he said? He said Tyson Fury is better than you, he beat Tyson Fury. I wonder if it's real. <laughs> Joshua versus Ngannou with some fucking yeah. punch artist. <laughs> Someone's going to sleep. Jesus Christ. So, in this video, we are going to dig deep into Ngannou versus Joshua, Joshua's epic comeback, and much more. Man, the first time was so nice, I had to do it twice. Anthony Joshua! This is about boxing. I'm used to knocking guys out. It's about hitting and not getting hit. This fight is between an expert to knock out the opponent with a few punches and someone who knocks out the opponents with a touch of the fingertips. Well, you saw what he did to Overeem. Francis put him into orbit. I'm more excited for AJ's career than I've been in a long, long time, personally. And Garnu is, is a complete wild card. I think. This is the Anganu versus Joshua extended fight promo. <laughs> After Joshua made his comeback against Andy Ruiz by defeating him in their second meeting, he again had to face a scarier Ukrainian named Oleksandr Uzi. It doesn't really get much bigger than this. This is the fight of the year. As the unified heavyweight world champion, Anthony Joshua once again puts his belts on the line against the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, Alexander Usyk. This is gonna be a tremendous fight, and I believe everybody on Saturday night in the stadium, we're in for a night I believe we will never, ever forget. One of the best heavyweights in recent memory. A chance to prove it again tonight, but he faces what many consider to be all around his toughest challenge yet. Alexander Usyk from the Ukraine, and here we go. Oh, good backhand from Usyk. Good shot. Oh, and again Usyk with a straight left hand. The southpaw scores. Usyk began the fight at a measured pace, methodically building momentum as he connected with more total punches than Joshua throughout the match. Displaying precision and accuracy, Usyk landed 28% of his punches, compared to Joshua's 19.2% with his 148 total punches. The bout reached its climax in the 12th round. AJ in trouble in London. AJ couldn't be hurt. Usyk defeated Joshua with style. He's, he's Who did he beat? Who, who, who was he beating? He got, he beat, he got knocked out by Ruiz. He also struggled with a Joseph Parker. At the end of the day, how good was Joshua? Look, at the end of the day, Uzuk was good. <laughs>
the, the fighter in AJ is already talking about, I'll win the rematch, I'll win the rematch. He lives and breathes boxing. Boxing saved him, boxing made him, and he, he won't fall out of love with the game. After getting beaten by Usyk, a lot of criticism rose against Joshua again. But he refused to give up. He wanted to run it back with Usyk again. Joshua came with a violent mindset. He wanted to get his belt back. I think Usyk looks bigger oh, than what he was. Okay. Usyk looks much bigger than what he was. Okay, guys, I'll give you instruction in the dressing room. They have a clean match, okay? Good luck. God bless you. between Yusik and Joshua, Joshua initiated the fight by landing 37 body punches, a significant increase from their first encounter. Despite Joshua's efforts, Yusik dominated overall, outperforming him by landing 170 punches compared to Joshua's 124. Yusik set new records for punches landed on Joshua, reaching 170 and delivered 39 punches in the 10th round, marking the highest count in a single round against Joshua. But Yusik's just come back from fighting for his country at war. I genuinely think he gives no fucks about being a star. He, he only wants to fight the best. He just wants to find out, can I beat you? Yusik made history as the only boxer who beat Anthony Joshua twice back to back. Joshua wasn't so happy about the result. In a post-fight emotional moment, he initially tossed his title belts out of the ring. I feel nothing but, re but respect to Anthony Joshua. I, I saw him a bit emotional and I saw him like uh, bullying some of my uh, teammates. I don't recommend him to do because uh, most of them are horrible street fighters. I have 20 boats, 20 wins at the moment. Some of my guys have 25 and 25 wins by the way of knockout. The whole world started questioning Joshua's sportsmanship, professionalism and legacy. Uh, it's really, really hard for me to say I'm proud of myself. Um, I don't feel anything. I'm just, well, I'm upset. And also, everybody thought Joshua was done forever. I don't rate AJ. Never have. He's a blown up bodybuilder who can't box. We all know that. AJ has been amazing for British boxing. I respect him. I like him as a champion. He's a smart guy, but he doesn't have that, like, that warrior smarts to him. He is a, a smart businessman. He's a very and uh, the only thing we get credit for is winning. Yeah, there's no silver medal in boxing. There's no silver medal in boxing. There's no second place. You only get credit for winning. When the whole world said Joshua should retire from boxing, he came back again and fought three more dangerous opponents, defeating them all in a devastating fashion. <laughs> And now we have a motivated Joshua, more motivated than ever. But in front of him, he has the scary Gano. Sometimes you want to see the biggest power punchers, the heavy handed destroyers get in there to smash the living hell out of each other and see who's left standing at the end of it. And that's exactly what we're going to get. We have a mega fight on our hands.
thing didn't work out for Deontay Wilder. Right. Hey guys, you wanna put on the fight? I'm sure. So I'm back. We're here now, let's go. Yeah. On one hand, Joshua has a lot to lose and little to gain. On the other hand, Ngano has a lot to gain and little to lose. But one thing is guaranteed. Violence.